fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, The Night House. This is a psychological horror movie that follows this woman, uh, who discovers a dark secret about the house her late husband built. Um, and that's all I'm going to really say about this, the plot without spoiling it, because this is a new movie. It came out a couple weeks ago, and everything I saw in the theater... And everything. I went in blind, not knowing anything about this movie. I'd actually uh, didn't see any trailers for it or anything, and uh, uh, I remember seeing the poster for it the, a couple weeks ago when I went to see Jungle Cruise and uh, Stillwater and Suicide Squad. But uh, I didn't know anything about it going in, really, and everything aside from uh, Rebecca Hall being. In it, and I like her. I've always thought she was kind of an underrated actress and everything, so I thought I'd give this movie a shot. And um, it really surprised me. Um, it had a lot of twists and turns, and the big ending really kind of threw me off guard. I didn't expect it to end the way that it did, and everything has a lot of good. Uh, uh, creepy moments and stuff but it doesn't over rely on jump scares or anything like I was afraid that this movie might do that and everything is it started going and everything I thought okay this is gonna be one of those that there's nothing but jump scares through the whole movie but it didn't really have that it did have its jump scares and stuff but the, they were placed at decent times where it didn't run the movie and everything and uh, Rebecca Hall as Beth is just absolutely great in this movie she does a really great job and like the portrayal of her grief and stuff over her husband dying and all that it's just really well written and everything and she just does a really excellent job in here and the rest of the supporting cast is really good in here too um i didn't really recognize anybody in here aside from rebecca hall but uh i thought they were all good in their roles um and everything and it it, it really didn't end the way I expected it to. I didn't expect it to be what it was and everything. I kind of wish it wouldn't have ended where it did. I would have liked to see where what would have happened. Maybe have like an epilogue or something, but uh, aside from that, I really enjoyed this movie. I think it was really entertaining and uh, this movie is directed by David Buckner or Bruckner. Um, who also directed VHS, which is a movie I've been wanting to see for a long time. I haven't seen it yet. And he also did Southbound, which is uh, another one that I've been wanting to see. He's done a few uh, horror movies that, I've, that are, have been on my radar that I haven't seen yet. I'd love to get to go back and see them because of seeing this movie. But it, it was really entertaining. I can't believe that... Uh, that this movie hasn't been getting a lot more buzz and stuff like it. It's really a good story, and I know it's gotten good reviews and stuff from critics, so I, I don't know why people haven't been talking about this one as much. I think part of that's probably poor marketing, because I, I wouldn't have even known anything about this movie if it wasn't for the just them showing the or having the poster up at the movie theater. I would have probably not even known that this movie existed, so... Um, but it's definitely worth checking out if you if you can go to the theater and it's playing it's definitely worth seeing and everything I really enjoyed it quite a bit and everything it's really entertaining movie it's not anything super super great or anything but it it's still a really fun movie uh, and like I said it's really intense at times it kind of reminded me of the invisible man a little bit and everything and the way some of the stuff was executed and some of the scares were done but it's not a really anything like that I mean just aside from the fact that there's an invisible presence around that's really about the only thing that the this has anything to do with that would resemble the invisible man but this is a really good movie and it's really entertaining um, and everything so uh, I'd give the night house an 8.5 out of 10 it's really entertaining it's good little psychological thriller with some pretty good uh, 
creepy moments and stuff. It doesn't have a lot of violence or anything like that. It just it's a psychological horror movie, so it, there's not really a lot to it, but it's entertaining, and I, I really enjoyed it. it it's really an uh, underrated movie and everything, but let me know in the comments what you think of The Night House, if you've seen it. Um, if you haven't seen it, I definitely would recommend it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.